Hello, little gherkins. I debated on clipping this, because it's Missy Moo, and that should say enough. However, she is claiming she will be making a video with screenshots and voice recordings to back up her claims in this video. Let me know what you think of this. All right, so <clears throat> first, I want to say that I'm going to be, things are going to be alleged, okay? Alleged. All right, but, <clears throat> okay, so first, I would like to say that I talked to Fella from the day that, from the second or third day that Foodie landed, the first time she went to Kuwait, until I and Mr. Moo ended the online friendship. Um, but anyway, recently, Sala started DMing me again, and Mr. Moo, and he, he said that, you know, he messaged me, Mr. Moo, and he said he wanted to talk to, you know, wanted to message with me, he, he was, you know, needed to speak with me, he was, you know, he's with Foodie, so, like, you know, <laughs> it's got to be hard. So, it started off with him saying, like, I don't know what to do, I'm running out of money, like, she wants to eat takeout, three meals a day, um, I, I don't know what to do anymore, and so I was like, I, I don't know, like, can you get a side job, do you sing, do you dance? um mime like, well, i don't know um because the like, foodie doesn't seem to be taking her job very seriously lately in all honesty this is what he said to me <clears throat> so it's not marital bliss that's going on there it really isn't um he's struggling um and she picks a fight every day every day um there's a fight um she's either leaving or he's leaving she's coming back to canada um she can't make up her mind um, but seriously um it, the marriage isn't <laughs> I'm going to say this all allegedly because I was asked to keep it private, but I feel like she's hiding so much stuff from everybody that, um, that um, he's not happy where they are. Um, I can tell you that. Um, the flies is a problem. Um, and um, it's just... Listen, I don't know about her bathing habits. In all honesty, I don't know anything about that. But I know that the one thing that Salah said to my husband was that foodie is really impulsive and... Um, he doesn't know how to handle it. And that's the truth, guys. That's not a troll. When he was talking to Mr. Moo, um, he does not know how to handle her impulsivity. Um, I think at first he was really trying. You guys have seen the progression of Salah, how it was, you know, he was trying, I think, to like uphold the Muslim standards a bit in the beginning and um, and those type of things. Um, and I think that, um, I mean, I'm not up to date on this new apartment thing. The last thing that we spoke about was her impulsivity and how he's just really disheartened by it because he's had to let go of a lot of his Muslim beliefs in a sense because, you know, he doesn't want her swearing and using bad language and he wasn't at first either, but now he is. And, um, you know, he did at one point want her to dress differently um, because he knows that she's getting teased for the way that she dresses. And if you don't think that it's a talking point between him and his guy friends, it truly is a talking point. Um, Murad's wife is, is attractive. She's very attractive. Um, and, you know, she was very vague about that red room because, I mean, read into it. And that woman was very attractive. And, um, you know, Fudi is very, she's no. very much. So I don't know about the meds. Like, I can't, like, I don't want to talk. Like, I don't want to say, oh, he's, they're on meds. They're smoking pot, things like that. Because like, I don't, I don't, I truly don't know the in and outs of, um, the in and outs of Kuwait and their laws and things like that. But if you, you know, she keeps reiterating they couldn't live together if they weren't married, things like that. But I can't imagine that Kuwait is going door to door asking for marriage certificates. Um, I just don't see that happening. Um, I don't believe she's there on a residency. Um, I think this is why she's been kind of hinting that, you know, that she misses Canada wants to go back because you can only stay for, I believe it's 90 days at a time and then you have to leave the country. So if you remember the Nick Okado arc when he was in, um, you know, with Orlin and he would have to leave the country um, and it didn't matter where he went, he just had to leave that country. Um, that's kind of where she is. So when she's talking about traveling to places like, um, Thailand or Syria or Saudi Arabia. This is because she has to leave Kuwait. She has to have on her passport port that she left within those 90 days. And it doesn't really matter how long you're gone for. Um, and, and I know this because my daughter is going through the process of going. And when she was coming back and forth, um, like they've applied for their marriage license or sorry, their, their fiance visa. So there's certain protocols with that. Um, now my son-in-law travels here and he stays for like 10, 12 days at a time. And so, um, and so, uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do for the DMs is I'm not gonna show them on here right now because it'll be hard for you guys to see them. I'm gonna do a short video so that you guys can pause and read them. Okay, so, and some of them are him talking back and forth with my husband. So, um, but in those DMs, you'll see that we ended the friendship. Um, we said we were taking a step back. Um, she was very upset with me that I wasn't there the night that BBJ was found out to be with FFG. Um, but at the beginning, I felt like Salah was looking for like advice from my husband. Um, he was a very, um, he does not like her impulsivity. 
he he does not like it. he doesn't like it when she's crass and rude and abrupt um that's he doesn't like that at all um i will say i knew about their perfume business long ago um i knew that it was going to go on amazon um she showed me a sample of the perfume um so I knew all about that. Um, I don't know what's going on with that because I offered, we offered, uh, we have a storefront um, that's going to be based out of Pensacola, Florida. Um, I said, you know, are you interested? But like, I don't know, like, I don't know the, legit, the legitimacy of this because he's just looking to, I think, sell on Amazon. I think that's the ultimate goal. Um, so this whole thing about the sh sh shisha, um, he did not want her at all to pick up the shisha, not one bit. Um, but she has to have something to be addicted to. So now it's this shisha. She's doing, if you remember, she could not live stream without smoking pot or taking an edible. Um, so this has replaced that. Um, do I think that there's marijuana in it? No, I don't. Um, but who knows? Who knows? Um, um, she will not even leave the couch. So, and that's, you know, Sal wants to be adventurous and this is hard for him. And he wants to come to Canada. He really, truly wants to come to Canada. And I think that... Um, Yes, mommy's home. That they're trying really hard to portray the happy married couple, but there's not that flow. And the more they try, the bigger it looks. Even though I think there is a form of legitimacy there, but it certainly isn't a traditional, typical married life. It's not. He's not happy with the way that she's behaving. He absolutely is not. It is the talk of his friends. Um, and if you've noticed, there hasn't been talk from Ella or Murad, and there is reasons for that. I don't know the reasons for that, but I know that there's reasons for that. I know that there is stuff. Um, but I think they're getting along better now. I think, I think that's because he's given up and given in. And that's sad when a man loses that masculinity like that. It's so sad. Like, cause that's, a, mm, she said she wanted that masculinity and just having your man use your card. That's not masculinity. I believe, like, honestly, okay. Okay. This is what I want to say about what his age is. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't have proof of his age. I tend to think he might be closer to 35. And I'm going to tell you why I say this. When I, remember when I got the DMs from the guys on the Instagram, the one guy said he was 23 when we, chatted there is no way that man was 23 even if he took the facial hair off i think they're under this impression that the older overweight women want the young handsome men so they they age themselves down and i think if, especially if they have these like weird paperwork and they can get away with it i don't know that's speculation on my part but i speculate he's a bit older than 30. that's my speculation on that